October 2016 is probably the scariest time of my entire adult life. That was the time I discovered that I have an early stage breast cancer diagnosis. Hi everybody, my name is Jamie and I'm a breast cancer survivor. It's October right now, which is the Breast Cancer Awareness Month. And so I thought I'd update my loyal YouTube subscribers about what's been going on with me, how I've been since the diagnosis, and of course, for the new followers and subscribers out there. If it's your first time to watch my video, welcome. What actually triggered me to do my social media blogs is my diagnosis. It inspired me to just put my story out there with the hopes to inspire, uplift and empower anyone going through the same ordeal or just generally going through a struggle in life. I remember 2016 of October when I received that my diagnosis was positive. I just almost fainted and I didn't know how to handle it. I remember going through treatment the entire year of 2017. Early on, I just went to the beach one day and pulled out my mobile phone and started talking on the camera and that's the birth of my YouTube video. I just wanted to reach out to my fans in the Philippines back then because I couldn't bear what I felt on my own. I just thought I needed support from everybody in the world just so I could carry on with life and fight to keep on living. It was indeed a very enriching experience going through a hard time and almost feeling like you could possibly die. But life after cancer is very, very beautiful and magical. I see things in a very different perspective now. I don't sweat on the small stuff. I know who my real people and tribe are who will stand by me through thick or thin. I appreciate every single thing in life. I am just so grateful to the Creator for giving me the second chance to live and I would love to just follow my passion and turn it into a purpose by sharing my life lessons, reflections, and stories to the world. It is very, very challenging to jump from being a patient to a person. To me, that was the most difficult transition. Because when you're a patient, you got so used to all the attention and the love and care and being spoiled by everyone around you. You have your medical team, you have everybody just loving you and showing you all these support and affection and suddenly, bam, you're back in the real world where everybody's so selfish and fending for themselves. I just realized how selfish people can be and how superficial the world is. I was pressured to look good all over again, coming from bald and being pale and having a scar on my left breast. Suddenly, I am splashed with all these perfection in the media to look like Kim Kardashian, to look like a Victoria's Secret angel, but I'm not going to be like that anymore. This is the new me. And I had to go through a lot of reflection for me to come to acceptance with the new me. It's not an easy journey, especially for a woman where, of course, looks really do matter. And even if I do have hair now, and a lot of people say the short hair looks good, of course, I would still prefer to have my old self, but it's gone now. I have to accept the new me, but it's okay. I guess life is just teaching me to take very good care of myself from now on and of course to stay away from toxic people and things that are not good for me. Now I learn how to say no. There is definitely life after cancer. Even if you do live in constant fear that it may come back, what if it spreads, what if I have limited years to live, there's always that fear. But there's ways to combat the fear by doing meditation, seeking support from your loved ones, exercising to release endorphins, getting distracted with happy things, and just having faith. I guess it all boils down to you having faith that whatever happens, everything is going to be okay. So if you're watching this and you're looking for inspiration and wondering what it's like once you finish your treatment, I want to let you know that you're almost there. Just keep hanging on because there is a beautiful realization and life waiting after the treatment. Yes, you will never be the same. And yes, there will be challenges. But at the end of it all, it's worth it. 
So yes, people, I'm alive. I'm happy that I'm doing this video blog for you to share that it's been two years since my diagnosis and it's been one year and four months since I've been on remission and I'm doing well. Slowly getting back in the real world while pursuing this passion project of mine, which is Jamie Wynn. So I thank you all for subscribing and I hope you keep subscribing, following and liking my videos as I continue to build my legacy project. I would really, really love to have you inspired, uplifted, and empowered through my stories, learnings, sharings, and reflections. Reminder to all the ladies out there to do some breast self-exams since it's October right now. And if you feel something suspicious with your breasts, please turn it over to the medical professionals for further investigations because prevention can always save your life. There is cure now by early detection. Together, let's keep winning. Thank you for watching my video blog and I'll see you again on the next one. Remember, this is Jamie Wins, committed and dedicated to empower, uplift, and inspire you. Together, we got this. Have a good day. Bye.